Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've discovered that if you don't touch the controller, it just keeps zooming in on your character for some reason. It's still going, very, very slowly. I haven't touched it since I ended the previous video. <laughs> this is silly. Uh, last time I solved some puzzles. Uh, we saw Akhenaten and his witch performing some horrible ritual on Prince Student Common. Uh, let's find out what's through this door. Oh, I got a comment from, uh, an Anton Ragu, comma, Sky, who, uh, requested that I do read the subtitles. And, you know, it is actually a bit quiet just looking at these screens of text, especially since, uh, you know, it doesn't even have noises to accompany things. Like, you know, you see a line of text pop up and it goes, oh, or whatever. Zelda style or ukulele style. Well, that looks awesome. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess I die if I touch that field. We've got lasers. And like a really big do Oh, oh. I was gonna make a joke that this just strings like a doorbell, but that makes almost as little sense. What's up, friend? Where do I need to get with you? Nowhere. Awesome. No, really, I don't understand. This doesn't lead anywhere. And he doesn't hold it over his head, so it's not like a clever, you know, shield from the damaging rays thing. Will another one fall from the sky and crush that one? No. No, you can't throw it through there. Eh, no, I just can't walk through. It's a force field, not a uh, death field. Well, I've got another dead friend. You can sit here next to Benny. I don't know why I called him Benny. Um. Shit! I threw a riveting. I'm an idiot. There's a mechanic, exactly. Oh, I see. Get back over here. No, that's too far. It's hard to judge. Yeah. Missed. Yeah. But friend, those are in the previous room. What about this room? You know, second thought, this room sucks. Let's go back to the previous room. What are you doing back over there? Hmm. I guess I could read the subtitles. Kinda hesitant to do silly voices or whatever, though. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, nope, 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 fuck that. Uh, I don't have enough health to risk finding out if that kills me or not. There's no dead friends here to help me jump over it. And there's another one on the other side. Ah! There's also a bar of wood on the side. What do you do? Oh, okay. It 
that the Ark of the Covenant in there? Or, or no, let go of that, actually. Uh, do I want to drop down from here? Yes. I really appreciate the comments I get. Gotta say, that's the best part. Seeing actual evidence that real people, you know, enjoy these videos. I need to occasionally get a rude one. Oh, right. Boy, they really didn't want anyone getting in here. Oh, oh, oh frame rate. Don't know what that was about. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Sir, there is an intruder in the building. <laughs> what? Destroy him. He cannot interrupt the ceremony. Forsaken spirits of this building, wake up, arise, and kill the intruder. I don't have to hit A that time. Okay, that was fast. Oh, he's invincible while he's not. Can I steal his axe? No, it faded away. But I can steal his soul. Not Benny! You give Benny back! No. Can I make that jump? I don't believe so. Yeah, no way. Do you mind? I'm trying to steal money here. Oh, don't stand there. Jesus. It makes you feel better. You are the first one who's actually landed a hit on me. Ah! The shield drops right before he catches the axe. I wonder if I could hit him and make him get hit by his own axe as he comes back. Seems like a very video gamey technique. That scorpion has a knife for a tail. Now do I have any monsters? No! You currently have no monsters. Makes me wonder if I'm like supposed to get like a net or something and catch the knife scorpion. Like little monsters like that. Okay, maybe I can make that jump. Or, no, wait. Okay, just checking. Maybe I can, like, shimmy along the wall or something. Whoa! I really like how fast those first two hits in the combo are. Oh, okay, I missed one. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Of course, it's got Akhenaten's face on it. Why, hello there. Yeah. 
you got the shield of Osiris. I was wondering about that. There doesn't seem to be a block button. Now I imagine there will be. This magical shield was used in battle by the great god Osiris himself. You can use the shield to protect yourself from many types of enemy attacks and other hazards. To equip the shield of Osiris, use the D-pad to select the item, then press the button you want to assign the item to. Once assigned, press and hold the appropriate... Yes, 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 I know how a shield works in a video game. While defending yourself, use uh, L to aim the shield. Neat. Sorry about that. What's that sound? Okay, it stopped, so that means it is in game. A little padding sound. God damn it, Sphinx. You really need to learn to jump. Okay, so let me see here. Couldn't get that to work, so not that. So then I press... Let me guess, the bumpers? Oh, it also has Y up there. Or, no, wait. Yeah. This side. Ooch, 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 ooch. I'm gonna be so popular at all the raves. Uh, achievement unlocked, Ethereal Guard. Find the Shield of Osiris. Uh, last one of these notes I wrote down. Every Zoko uh, pointed out that it's neat that an Xbox game from 2003 lets you knock down vases just by bumping into them, when a lot of, you know, modern physics engines don't actually do that. He also, uh, wondered whether there's an achievement for uh, breaking all of them, you know, in the, in the palace level. But I checked, and there doesn't seem to be. And there are no hidden achievements, so I don't think it was that... You're the real Benny! How dare you betray me! Ah! There. Now she can never use your bones against me again! At least I know you'll never betray me. Now you can be Benny. The guy in the cage is Benny. Come along, Benny. At least you're my friend. No! Oh my god! Oh, what if Benny wanted to help me on my journey? I just immediately attacked him. No, wait, it's a game from 2003. Here, fine. You want to be my friend? No, no you do not. There we go. Sure moves slowly. There is an achievement with no description, however. It's just called Winds of Change. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I guess you could say he's boned. Oh, there are two of those guys in here. Ow! It's too late! I've saved the game! You can never defeat me! I'm gonna be honest, I did it entirely so I could say that. How did that work? I wasn't even facing the right direction! Oh right, it's an up slash, not a, uh, you know, stomp attack like every other game I've ever made. I have to get used to that. Oh man. At 
They said it gave me warning. I didn't even notice the first time. I'm sure that's a good sign. Okay, so that's a thing I can do. Is there anything else in this room? In this part of this room, I should say? Nope! So I'm just gonna go ahead and ruin this. And... RUIN! What happened? Curses! Now we will have to start again! Look, there's the saboteur who ruined the ceremony! It's not even Sean Devlin this time. You fool! Deactivate the magical device! Can't you see it's going to explode? Sucking us in! No! Uh... Those guys are clearly dead. Oh, wait. Not anymore. God damn zombies. Oh, shit. No, I'm just gonna fuck you guys up. How's that sound? What would be really neat is if they turned back into human corpses lying on the ground. Tell Anubis I said hi. Oh, thank you for saving me. I'm eternally grateful. But now my beloved Tud is dead. How can I live without him? This vase is all that remains of him. I'm sure that part of his soul is inside. I want you to take it. Your heroic actions assure me that you might be the one to take bring him back. You got a canopic vase. Part of the soul of Tutankhamun is stored inside. Please, find him and bring him back to me. Oh, Tut, why did they do this to you? Before you go, take this. It's an amulet that Tut gave to me. He was fascinated by it, but I don't know why. To me, it's just an amulet. Sphinx, you must meet with me in Heliopolis as soon as possible. These events are clear evidence that something extremely sinister is taking place. The forces at work during this ceremony were far too powerful and demonic for my liking. Did Egyptian mythology even have demons? We must find the source of this power before it grows to be a real menace. For that portal amulet, you can use the portal in the entrance to leave this place. Do not worry about Nefertiti. I will find a way to help her escape from this wretched place. I want you to take this gold Ankh. It will help you to face the challenges you will inevitably face on your journey. It looks red. Good luck, Sphinx. You got the Abydos Amulet. The Oceanic symbols on this ancient artifact indicate transport to Abydos. And yes, I am thinking about Stargate SG-1 right now. You got a gold Ankh. This magical artifact has increased your health capacity by one Ankh and has fully replenished your health. It has? Oh, oh, there it goes. This took a second. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. So, uh, Tutankhamun is the cursed mummy. I didn't see that one coming. So, IRL, a, uh, a canopic jar, are the jars you find in a, uh, a royal burial chamber that contain the organs that were removed from the mummy. 
Shield of Osiris, the magical shield used in battle by the great god Osiris. Oh, that, yeah, sorry. The, uh, the Abydos amulet, that's right. Is that the only door? Yes, okay. It's not a door at all. I am an idiot. Let's use this. Sorry it took my he you know, a second to wrap my head around that. In Stargate SG-1, Abydos is the name of another planet that basically still lives by uh, ancient Egyptian ways. But, uh... I don't know where the name actually comes from. You're way too eager for that, buddy. Uh huh. Well, wherever Abydos is, let's head there. So the mysterious amulet comes here, and the Abydos amulet goes there. Fair enough. I hit A, and st uh, A is cancel on this screen, as you can see off to the side there. X! Portal God acknowledges your offering and will provide transport to Abydos. I'm so pleased with the Monty Python reference I stuck in episode 3. I must say. Goes my timer, which is a pretty good moment, actually. We find ourselves in a sewer, and I find myself wondering how frequently this thing gets used. But, uh... We're gonna have to explore in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you then. Later!